Picture this, a cozy evening, the soft glow of a black and white screen casting a mesmerizing spell across the room. As you settled into the cushions, the 1951 TV series I Love Lucy danced onto the screen. And little did you know, it was about to etch its magic into your heart forever. The crisp laughter, the endearing characters, and the timeless humor effortlessly whisked you away from the mundane, leaving an indelible mark on your memories. Perhaps it was the comical escapades of Lucy Ricardo, her hair brain schemes causing delightful chaos, or the unbreakable bond between Lucy and her best friend Ethel. Maybe it was Ricky Ricardo's exasperated yet affectionate sighs as he navigated the whirlwind of his wife's antics. And who could forget the iconic grape-stomping scene, an unforgettable symphony of laughter and hilarity that still echoes in your mind to this day. Now, let's journey back to those golden moments, those days when the world seemed a bit simpler and the laughter was a little louder. As we peel back the curtain on this beloved classic, you will discover intriguing facts that breathe new life into the show. From behind-the-scenes anecdotes to the show's groundbreaking impact, each revelation paints a richer tapestry of I Love Lucy and its enduring legacy. So, buckle up for a trip down memory lane, where laughter reigns supreme, and the charm of I Love Lucy never fades. Hit ready to rediscover the show that warmed hearts then and continues to do so now, a true testament to the power of timeless entertainment. And now, without further ado, let's dive into some fascinating and random facts about the show that will make you fall in love with it all over again. Get ready to be amazed, surprised, and thoroughly entertained as we uncover the hidden gems that have made I Love Lucy an unforgettable part of television history. I Love Lucy, a groundbreaking TV series that aired in 1951, emerged as a beloved cornerstone of American television. Created by Lucille Ball and Daisy Arnaz, the show followed the escapades of Lucy Ricardo and her husband Ricky in New York City. Lucy's relentless pursuit of a showbiz career led to comical mishaps, often involving her best friends, Ethel and Fred Mertz. The series' unique live audience format and the dynamic chemistry between Ball and Arnaz set it apart. The show's origins stemmed from Lucille Ball's desire to work with her real-life husband, Daisy Arnaz, and their mutual intention to bring a relatable yet humorous depiction of a married couple's life to the screen. The characters Lucy and Ricky Ricardo became iconic figures, with Lucy's zany schemes and Ricky's musical talents captivating audiences. I love Lucy innovatively used a three-camera setup in the live audience format pioneering techniques that are still employed in sitcoms today. The show's blend of slapstick comedy, physical humor, and witty writing resonated with viewers, making it an instant hit. Its impact on pop culture was profound, influencing subsequent sitcoms and shaping the way television portrayed family dynamics and humor. The show's legacy is enduring, from popular catchphrases like Lucy, M. Ho, to memorable episodes like the Chocolate Factory conveyor belt scene. Its success paved the way for the television industry's expansion and reaffirmed the power of relatable storytelling and genuine chemistry among cast members. Random facts about I Love Lucy, the show's original pilot was in black and white, but the series was the first to be filmed and broadcast in color. Lucille Ball's real-life pregnancy was incorporated into the show, making it a groundbreaking moment in television history. The show's popularity led to the formation of Dezillu Productions, which later became a major television studio. The iconic grape-stomping episode was based on an actual event Lucille Ball attended. Ball's meticulous comedic timing and facial expressions became defining characteristics of her portrayal of Lucy Ricardo. CBS executives battled with I Love Lucy's unconventional star casting in the annals of television history. The 1951 classic I Love Lucy stands as an iconic cornerstone. However, the show's inception was not devoid of hurdles, particularly in the casting department. CBS executives raised eyebrows and concerns when William Frawley's name was put forth due to his reputation as an alcoholic and a general disruptor. Despite reservations, Frawley secured the role of Fred Mertz. To curb potential disruptions, Daisy Arnaz, who portrayed Ricky Ricardo, laid down an ultimatum. Frawley was given a stern warning, any drunkenness or unwarranted absences would promptly terminate his involvement. 
Remarkably, Frawley steered clear of any transgressions, arriving sober and even outpacing fellow cast members in learning his lines. This improbable partnership blossomed into genuine friendship between Frawley and Arnaz, a camaraderie that endured beyond the show's production. The story behind Frawley's integration into the I Love Lucy family showcases the unpredictable dynamics that drive the world of entertainment. Frawley's transformation from a contentious casting choice to a cherished colleague highlights the intricate dance of personalities that produced the beloved series. The hidden struggle of I Love Lucy star, William Frawley's battle against alcoholism in the golden age of television. The iconic 1951 TV series I Love Lucy charmed its way into countless hearts. Amid the laughter and glamour, a lesser-known story unfolded behind the scenes, centering on William Frawley, better known as Fred Mertz. Frawley battled a long-standing struggle with alcoholism that echoed throughout his portrayal of the beloved character. As the cameras rolled and Lucy Ricardo's escapades unfolded, Frawley's battles off-screen were well concealed. Early into the series, executives became privy to his condition and delivered a stern ultimatum, stay sober or face termination. The stakes couldn't have been higher for Frawley, whose livelihood teetered on a precipice. Astutely, Frawley's portrayal of Fred Mertz showcased a subtlety that masked his internal turmoil. An intriguing detail emerged for those who cared to observe closely his hands. As a testament to his commitment to sobriety during filming, a majority of Frawley's scenes feature his hands buried deep within his pockets. This tactical choice artfully concealed any telltale trembling that could betray the tempest raging within. The ingenious workaround exemplified the delicate dance of compromise that often underscores show business. Frawley's skillful performance alongside his co-stars, Lucille Ball and Daisy Arnaz, never faltered, providing fans with a seamless experience of the beloved show. Their chemistry remained palpable, masking the turmoil that bubbled beneath the surface. I Love Lucy endures as a television milestone, captivating new generations with its timeless humor and heartwarming moments. Frawley's struggle, concealed within the folds of his character's clothing, remains a poignant reminder of the challenges that can accompany stardom. As viewers continue to indulge in the comedic brilliance of I Love Lucy, the hidden battles of its stars offer a more complex narrative, a reminder that even amidst laughter, shadows can linger. Disco fever hits I Love Lucy theme, a surprising dance chart triumph in an unexpected turn of events. The timeless charm of I Love Lucy transcended eras, finding an unlikely home in the throbbing beats of disco music. March of 1977 marked the emergence of a disco version of the show's iconic theme as a bona fide hit single. His skating onto dance charts for three electrifying months and maintaining a captivating presence on pop charts for seven exhilarating weeks. The TV classic, which had woven its way into the collective cultural tapestry, took an unprecedented leap onto the dance floor. This musical transformation not only rekindled nostalgia but injected an exuberant pulse into the series' already vibrant legacy. Amidst the mirrored balls and illuminated dance floors of discotheques, the familiar notes of I Love Lucy elicited an irresistible urge to move, evoking cherished memories while inspiring new dance routines. The success of the disco-infused theme was a testament to the show's enduring resonance and its ability to capture the imagination of different generations. Much like Lucy's indomitable spirit, the song's infectious rhythm proved uncontainable, asserting its dominance over the dance music scene of the late 70 seconds. This extraordinary sonic journey illustrated the profound impact of television on pop culture. Decades after its inception, I Love Lucy found fresh relevance through an unexpected musical metamorphosis. From black and white screens to pulsating dance floors, the Ricardos and Mertzes continued to enchant audiences, proving that even the most iconic narratives can experience an exhilarating encore. Lucille Ball's dream ignites the birth of I Love Lucy in the annals of television history. The birth of I Love Lucy stands as a testament to the power of dreams. Lucille Ball, already a recognized name in entertainment, catapulted into the television world after a fateful dream. Her close friend and screwball comedy luminary, Carol Lombard, who met a tragic end in a plane crash, appeared in Ball's dream. Lombard's ethereal counsel pushed Ball towards the risky foray of television, urging her to abandon the radio waves. In 1951, Ball embraced Lombard's spectral advice and, with husband Daisy Arnaz, gave life to I Love Lucy. 
The sitcom, which would redefine television comedy, saw Ball in the role of the spirited Lucy Ricardo. The dream's impact was undeniable. It propelled Ball to navigate the uncharted waters of television, leaving behind a secure radio career. As the nation tuned in, Luce's misadventures and comedic escapades unfolded, captivating audiences across the country. Ball's dream turned reality birth to show that would not only become a cultural touchstone, but also lay the groundwork for the modern sitcom. I Love Lucy not only showcased the vibrant talents of its cast, but also marked a pivotal moment in television's history, proving that sometimes, dreams hold the power to change the course of entertainment. Lucille Ball's dream, a beacon in the night, guided her toward a new frontier, television. In honoring her friend Lombard's memory, she inadvertently birthed a legend, forever etching her name into the annals of entertainment history. As we bid adieu, our journey through the timeless allure of the 1951 TV series, I Love Lucy, draws to its cinematic close. As the curtains fall on this mesmerizing tapestry of laughter and camaraderie, we find ourselves at a crossroads of reflection, where the echoes of Lucy's infectious laughter and Ricky's endearing exasperation linger in the corridors of memory. Each episode, a mosaic of laughter and love, continues to cast its spell across the ages, reminding us of the power of humor, the warmth of friendship, and the beauty of a life lived unapologetically. The black and white hues on the screen may be from a bygone era, but the emotional palette it paints on our hearts remains vividly alive. In a world bustling with modern tales and flashy narratives, I Love Lucy stands as a quiet beacon, inviting us to cherish the simple moments that string together the pearls of our lives. It's a reminder that amidst the chaos, a hearty chuckle and a heartfelt connection can transcend time itself. Dear friend, as we linger on this precipice, I implore you to take a moment to recall your personal journey with I Love Lucy. Let your thoughts meander through the giggles it sparked, the family gatherings it adorned, and the cherished memories it helped shape. Share with us your anecdotes, your favorite scenes, and the snippets that have become a part of your own story. For it is in these shared recollections that the legacy of I Love Lucy breathes anew, a testament to the indelible mark it has left on countless hearts. And so, with gratitude in our hearts and laughter on our lips, we thank you for joining us on this nostalgic expedition. Until we meet again in the world of tales that traverse time and technology, remember that the charm of I Love Lucy remains a touchstone, a connection to a past that continues to wrap us in its endearing embrace. Yours in nostalgia, your name.